Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the LG Plus View. This is a 16-inch portable external display that was released at the same time with the LG Gram 2022. In this video, I will focus on the external display and give you my first impression of the LG Gram 2022. The full review for this laptop will be out in two weeks time and if you have any questions that you want me to answer, Regarding this laptop, let me know in the comment section below. Right before we start, let me tell you the disclaimer. These two are actually review units on loan from LG Singapore. Right, so at the time of making this video, the Plus View display is actually not listed for sale in Singapore yet. I checked the USA website and it seems like the official retail price for this is 349 US dollars. I do hope they bring this display to Singapore because it's actually a pretty good one. I actually have a few portable displays, one, two, and three, and I have featured many on my YouTube channel. So I can tell you this is actually a pretty good one and the pricing is quite reasonable and competitive compared to other brands. These other items included in the box. There is the portable display, of course. This is a 1.5 meter long USB-C to USB-C video cable. And this is the magnetic flip cover and stand. To install this onto the display is very easy. It snaps right on because there are magnets. There are magnets here and magnets here. This part will snap to the back. So this is the very common trifold flip case that will fold into a small triangle at the back to prop up the display. The magnets are quite strong, which is very good. So this should not detach accidentally unless you apply a lot of force. This flip case only protects the front of the display and not the back. It's designed this way probably to keep the weight down. The weight of the display is 671 grams. Together with the case, it's 988 grams. I'm not sure what material they used for this, but it looks and feels like metal. It's matte textured. The finishing is good. The bevel edges are the shiny parts. This display is quite thin. It's just 8.3 millimeter. And because it's so lightweight for a 16 inch display, this is quite portable. This stacks very nicely on top of the LG Gram 16. The only thing I don't quite like is the back here is exposed. If you stack it like this, the metal can actually scratch the cover. I have the LG Gram 16 from 2021 and I have some scratches on the cover. On the left side, there is one USB-C video port on the other side there is another usb-c video port and this is the control for the brightness there are no other ports on this display this display is designed to go with the lg gram 16 because it has the same display size you can of course use this display with other lg grams um, lg gram 14 15 17 this usb-c cable is supposed to go to the back and the usb-c port on the lg gram is on the left side. This display only has USB-C ports, so this is going to work best with computers or laptops with USB-C ports. I'm not sure if this display can support HDMI connection. I tried with my HDMI cable and this USB-C to HDMI adapter. HDMI doesn't transmit power, so I also have to connect additional power to this and it did not work for me. So it's best to use USB-C connection for this display. Since the laptop is powering the external display, the laptop battery will drain much faster. How fast the battery will drain will depend on the brightness of the displays. From what I've seen so far, the power consumption for this display doesn't seem to be that high, but obviously this will still drain your laptop battery faster. Design of the Plus View display looks good. When you have the LG Gram 16 beside the Plus View display, the bottom edges almost align perfectly. Maybe the Plus View display is one millimeter taller, but you can move the display closer to you to have the bottom edges align 
perfectly. The bezels are quite thin. They are uniform on the sides and the top. The bottom is thicker. This is plastic. It's matte textured plastic. And the display is also matte textured, which is really nice. The screen size is 16 inches and the resolution is 2560 by 1600. So the aspect ratio is 16 by 10, which is good. The pixel density is 188 ppi. All the visuals on this display are sharp and detailed. This resolution is a noticeable upgrade from 1080p. While this display is not 4K, I don't really see any pixelation when working from one arm's length away. Colors on the plus view display look fantastic out of the box, so you probably do not need to color calibrate this. I have already color calibrated both displays and I measured color support for 100% sRGB, 89% Adobe RGB, 87% NTSC and 100% P3. And that applies to the LG Gram as well because these two displays actually have the same specifications. For brightness, I measured a maximum brightness of 269 nits for the external display and 296 nits for the LG Gram 16. Because there are no OSD color settings to adjust on this display, if you do need to make color adjustments such as to the RGB, color temperature, contrast, saturation, you will have to do it through your computer OS. Having a dual display setup is always useful. This is great for productivity. And LG has made a fantastic choice to use 16 by 10 aspect ratio for this portable display. Portable displays with 16 by 9 aspect ratio are very common, but 16 by 10 aspect ratio is quite rare for portable displays. So this is one of those rare ones. And now I want to show you some software features available on the new LG Gram 2022 that you can use with dual display setups. These features will also work with other brands of portable displays or external monitors. And the software is called LG Glance. I'm not sure if you can download and install this on older LG Gram models. If you can, that would be great because this is actually quite useful. Okay, so let's look at how I can move the cursor from one display to the other just by glancing or looking at the displays. So I'm going to look at the LG view now, look back at LG Gram, look at the LG view and back. So this works pretty well. When I watched the promotional video for LG Glance, I thought the features were quite gimmicky, but after using the features for an hour or so, I found out they are actually very useful. So I can move this window to the LG view just by looking at the LG view as well. Let me click on the title bar here and look at LG view and look back at the LG Gram. So those are just two of the many features from LG Glance. I want to talk more about LG Glance in the review of this laptop because these features are specific to the laptop and not to the LG Plus View display. All right, let me summarize the pros and cons of the LG Plus View display. This is a good looking display. It's bright, it's vibrant, it has reasonably good color accuracy. There is no noticeable pixelation when working from one arm's length away because the resolution is 2560 by 1600 on a 16 inch display. And I really like the aspect ratio, 16 by 10 aspect ratio is great for productivity. This is very lightweight, it's compact and portable, it pairs really well with the LG Gram 16. The downsides or the limitations would be there are only USB-C ports, there are no OSD controls to adjust the color settings and I wish the flip cover and stand can actually cover the front and back of the display completely. And the pricing is quite competitive compared to 4K 15 inch portable displays. This resolution 1440p plus is not as sharp compared to 4K but the visual improvement from 1080p to 1440p plus resolution, uh, that visual improvement is actually more significant. 
for me compared to 1440p plus to 4K. Before I end this video, I want to give you my quick impressions of the LG Gram 2022. I just received this laptop yesterday, so I want to spend more time with it before I put out my full review. I've actually reviewed last year's model and I liked it so much I purchased one for myself. I bought the LG Gram 16 2021, so I'm quite familiar with LG Gram. So this year they are using the Intel 12th gen processor and they have replaced the extremely reflective display with this matte textured display which is a huge upgrade. The anti-glare is not that aggressive. What I mean by that is uh, you can see this white area here which is the reflection. It doesn't diffuse all the way until the screen is white so you can still see the content on the screen which is good. And when you look at the display um, like this, it looks terrific. When you look at last year's model, the one with the reflective screen, even when you look directly at it, you can still see your own reflection. So this is really a huge upgrade. The third upgrade is there are LG Gram models with the discrete graphics card option. Uh, the graphics card is NVIDIA RTX 2050. Unfortunately, here in Singapore, the LG Grams with RTX 2050 are not available, so you can only get the LG Gram with the Intel Iris XE graphics. The fourth upgrade is this LG Glance software that they have added, which I have showed you earlier, and it's quite useful. The main selling point of the LG Gram, of course, is the weight. This 16-inch laptop is slightly less than 1.2 kg, and for a 16-inch laptop, it's considered lightweight. I can actually hold this laptop from the corner here with my thumb and it's not like that strenuous. So this is very portable. The number pad on the LG Gram 15 and 16 only has three columns instead of the usual four. You get four columns with LG Gram 17. The LG Gram 14 does not have a number pad. The resolution on the LG Gram 14 is 1920 by 1200. The resolution on the LG Gram 15 is 1920 by 1080. So the aspect ratio on the LG Gram 15 is actually 16 by 9 instead of 16 by 10. The display on the LG Gram 15 is a touch screen display. If you want extreme portability, I would recommend you go with LG Gram 14 instead of 15 because 14 uses 1920 by 1200 resolution and it's just 999 grams. If you want something that is still portable but with a larger screen, I recommend the 16 over the 17 because this is almost 1.2 kg. The LG Gram 17 is 1.35 kg, so that's 150 grams more for an extra inch uh, increase in display size. I feel like LG Gram 16 is the best compromise. The main downside here is the number pad, which is less wide, but this is something you can probably get used to with time. In my full review of this laptop, I will talk more about the performance when it comes to creating visual content such as graphic design, editing photos and videos. I will talk about the battery life and also other software features provided by LG. If you have any questions regarding this laptop, let me know in the comment section below so that I can answer them in the full review. Alright, I hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye!